Leffingwell noted that this was one of the hardest fought campaigns in his career. He thanked all the organizations and groups that endorsed him, as well as his opponent, Bridget Shea, for addressing and debating many of the issues. He also thanked the voters. But thanks most to the voters who showed up to cast a ballot for me. I know that this has been a tough election. I know that there were tough decisions to make. I want to thank the voters of Austin for their confidence they have shown in me tonight. I look forward to continuing, and I'm honored to continue serving as your mayor, 53rd mayor of Austin, Texas. And on the agenda for this term is job creation, an urban rail system, clean energy, and moving the city voting to November to encourage more voter participation. Our Chris Sadegi had a chance to speak with Mayor Leffingwell after his victory speech last night. I am here with a victorious Mayor Lee Leffingwell who will remain the mayor of Austin. And just tell us how that sounds. Well, it sounds great. You know, it's been a tough six months. It's a hard-fought campaign. Probably the toughest I've been through. This is my fourth campaign now, and this is by far the toughest. You mentioned that on stage. You also talked to Bridget afterwards. What were some of the things you talked to her about? Well, uh, you know, I, I mentioned in my speech a few minutes ago that uh, there had been a lot of issues raised, and there's room for a diversity of opinion at City Hall. We welcome everybody's opinion. We have to be inclusive as a city government. So I look forward to uh, addressing many of the issues that she, she has raised and, uh, during the campaign. Now that this victory is in the bag, you can officially start to look forward to your next term. What are those big issues that we're going to face here in Austin? Well, the big things are changes to our city government, moving our elections to, from May to November permanently so we can have increased turnout, including geographic representation. Those two, two things will be, have to be approved by the voters in November. Uh, but we're also going to have a very important uh, bond election in November, projects that are very important to the city of Austin that are needed here. Uh, we have to work on that. Uh, I want to continue to work on transportation issues. Uh, you may know that I'm chair of the uh, Transit Working Group, which is working on public transportation solutions to try to improve, improve traffic flow uh, here in the city of Austin. It's something we absolutely have to do. We basically had our heads in the sand for too long. We need to start addressing that or our quality of life will deteriorate. It was kind of the black cloud over this election, the low voter turnout that right. we talked about so much. You mentioned there's ways to fix that. Is it discouraging even in victory to have so few people turn out to vote? Well, actually, it's kind of typical. You know, uh, I don't know what the final numbers, but it's going to be right around 10 percent. It was about that in 2009. Uh, I think in 2006 it might have been even been lower than that. But it's been on this trend now since the 1970s. Actually, in the 1970s, I believe, was the highest mayor election turnout that we've had uh, percentage-wise. Uh, so this is something that we have to take seriously, uh, and I think we need uh, basic changes to correct it. One of the things you mentioned on stage, you mentioned F1, you mentioned a new convention hotel, right. you mentioned a lot of people coming to Austin, tourists, people permanently. What does that mean for the people in Austin who are already well, here? Well, you know, uh, these kinds of things have huge economic impact. They benefit, uh, you know, we sell a lot of barbecue, we sell a lot of hotel rooms uh, that benefits our local businesses, uh, even down to hardware stores that sell souvenirs. Uh, Formula One, uh, it and the other events that will be held uh, at the venue created for it uh, is expected to generate $500 million a year in economic impact. Now that's huge. Uh, that's bigger than South by Southwest and ACL uh, Music Festival combined. Uh, so we have to pay attention to that. And we tried to make sure uh, that, that we do it in a way that keeps Austin the way it is now, maintains our quality of life, the unique things about Austin. Last thing, it was a good night for the incumbents. What does that say about the people who are in place right now who will remain city council members here in Austin? Well, I, I, I think the, the voters looked at the record. Incumbents always run on their record. I think our record of accomplishment here at the city, in the city of Austin, you know, frankly, we're the envy of every other city in the country. Our economy has uh, performed so well. Uh, people continue to come here. We have to continue to create jobs for the people that live here in Austin. All right. Congratulations, Mayor. Thank Great. you for your time.